We all have our stories of how we found the craft, who introduced us, or how we were guided by spirit to just follow that path. And sometimes it is spirit, and sometimes it's spirit guiding a person's hand. And I'd like to tell you the story of how I discovered the craft. So I was visiting my cousin and his wife and they had moved back into town and I had moved back into town and we had been both away for a very long time. And um, so we started hanging out and we were around the same age. Uh, my cousin and I are two months apart, so of course his wife would be very close to my age. So we had children the same age and they would play together and I would visit often and his wife and I would watch movies and drink coffee and tell stories and just socialize, basically. And we had watched the movie Practical Magic. And it was just one of the movies that we had watched that summer. <coughs> Excuse me. So we were sitting in her living room after the movie and we were just chatting and there was a hallway off into my peripheral vision and the children were down that hallway in a bedroom playing and as we were talking I kept seeing someone standing at the end of the hallway and I would turn and look and no one would be there and this happened about three or four times and Holly was sitting across from me on a, on a separate couch. So the couches were like one like this and, and one like this. And I was on this one and she was on this one. And um, so she noticed me glancing to the side. And, and after the third or fourth time that I had done that, she said, what do you see? And I said, oh, it's nothing. I, I keep seeing someone standing there. So I thought the children were coming out. And she laughed and she said, you can see them. And I said, well, I thought I saw someone and I just played it off. Now, mind you, several things have happened throughout my life to show me my gifts that I just blanketed over and ignored. It's just a silly coincidence, I thought. And it just never occurred to me that it was real. And so she said, um, that movie, Practical Magic. And I said, yeah. She said, it's real. And it just kind of blew me away. I was like, what do you mean it's real? And she said, it's real. And you have powers and you can see that there is a spirit down at the end of that hallway. She said, I see him all the time. He's here. And um, so she handed me this book. And this was my introduction through my cousin's wife, Holly. And Holly, if you're watching, thank you very much. So she handed me this book and she loaned it to me. And I read through a little bit and decided I had to have my own copy. And so she introduced me to a bookstore that was two blocks from where I used to live before I'd moved and had no idea it was there. And it became our favorite bookstore and we went quite often but I bought my copy and that copy by the way has gone the way of the fairies that's a <laughs> that's a term we use quite often in my house gone the way of the fairies fairies like to take things in our house and most times they give them back it's just a trick but the my original copy of this book didn't come back this one and um, the Afterlife of Billy Fingers, which is also one of my absolute favorite books. And I used to keep it beside my recliner all the time. And if you follow me on my other YouTube page and know anything about my story, I, I'm disabled and I used to be very, very handicapped. And I spent two years in that recliner, sleeping there, sitting there all day, just unable to move in constant pain. And that book sat beside my recliner and I read it often and would pick it up and read passages of it often. So how that book disappeared, don't know. 
But anyway, that one and my original copy of this one didn't come back. I um, repurchased it, <laughs> a used copy. So this one belonged to someone else. And uh, because it's just my favorite book and it's one that I loan out often or recommend often to people just because it's a good starter book. It's got a lot of little bits of information that you can then um, seek other research on if you want to go more in depth. So it's a good, good starter book and I'll put a link to it. So that was how I got started in the craft and Holly practiced, which I didn't know. I'd been spending the summer with this woman and had no idea. And she got me started with the holidays and the full moon and the rituals and and we would do little rituals together and she got got me started and it led to a lifetime of study and I'm still studying and I'm still learning and I'm still practicing now so um, take this moment to thank the person that got you involved and who showed you the way whether it was a bookstore that you happened to wander into and or it was just a book aisle that you just found a book. Spirit guided you and led you to that aisle or that bookstore or that person at that time in your life. Know that. There are no coincidences. Okay. <laughs>